We're going to be programming a new smart key to this vehicle. This is all keys lost with the alarm active. I have the battery disconnected right now, so the alarm's not going off currently. We're going to be using the smart box and the Chrysler Security Gateway Bypass Cable. Now the reason that you need to use this cable is because the battery will need to be disconnected during programming and that would turn off the power to your smart box so we're going to need to power it on an alternative way so you want to just plug in your smart box obd cable into the end of the chrysler bypass cable this obd end you don't plug in anything you just leave it sit there and you plug these two leads into the obd port itself so the top row or the longer row that's 1 through 8, and the bottom row is 9 through 16. So you want to go into 6 and 14. So it'll be the third, 6 will be the third one from the right on the top row, and 14 will be directly under it, the third one from the right on the bottom row. You want to take your CAN H wire, or your red one, and plug it into number 6. And then you want to take your can L wire, your black one, plug it in number 14. Alright, and then just try not to bump those while you're, while you're programming. Now that you have that plugged in, you're going to need to power on your smart box with secondary power source via this USB port here that says power. Um, so you don't have to use a power source exactly like this one. You could use uh, a laptop, you could use a portable phone charger, you could use any kind of jumper pack that has a USB outlet on it, and then you want to use the mini USB cable that came with your smart box to power it on through the USB port here. Now once you have the power to the smart box and it's all plugged in down here, now we can go ahead and open up our tablet application, but actually first I like to put the, uh, the new key into the programming slot first before so then we don't have to get in and out of the vehicle because some vehicles have ultrasonic sensors and you don't want to disturb them so if you can remain outside of the vehicle as ideal. Um, this vehicle programming slots in the cup holder. Um, there are others that will be in the center console so if you don't know you can check the vehicle's owner's manual for that information. I'm going to go ahead and get the tablet app opened up right now and we're going to get started. Alright, I got my tablet loaded up. Uh, I'm on the first step here, so now I'm going to reconnect the battery so the alarm is going to go back off. Now we're going to disconnect the vehicle's battery. Disconnect it for 10 seconds or up to 20 seconds. And then we're going to put it back on and the alarm should be silent. If you put it back on and the alarm keeps going, immediately take it off, count to another 5 or 10 seconds, and then try again. Once it remains silent, then the smart box will move forward. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Got it. All right, there we go. I went a little quicker on that last time. Maybe that helped. The alarm is supposed to turn back on in a minute here, and once that happens, we will have a 10 minute wait. Alright, 
See you in 10 minutes. Alright, while we wait out the last few seconds here, I just wanted to explain why my tablet is is in the engine compartment here. I am Bluetooth connected to the smart box unit in the vehicle. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna have to click the buttons. But I do this so I don't have to enter and exit the vehicle during the programming. It's already in the slot from earlier. Continue. If you do have to use a USB cable connection, then I would recommend leaving the door open and leaving the tablet right outside or on the front seat. But our current number of keys went up to three. I heard the lock cycle. Programming successful. All right, now we're gonna go check our key. All right, we can go ahead and power this down now. Unplug these guys. Reach for the key. All right. All right, key's working. And the engine starts and we're good to go.